Hello, one and all. I've seen some posts on the Kenshi subreddit about trade posts and what to do, how they work, and I thought I would kind of go over and show how, uh, how I've done it. Now, there are a few things to take into consideration. Uh, the first is that uh, opening up a, a little trade post and having this shop counter uh, is not going to make you a ton of money. This is definitely not a make money fast. This is very much a make some money a little bit rather slowly. Uh, so this is very good for some chill play styles. Uh, if you want to create a, uh, a group, you know, you go out, maybe you, you make some, uh, some things to sell. But therein lies the question is what actually sells and how does it actually work? So Kenshi's items are sort of broken down into just a very uh, small handful of grouping. Uh, for me, that's three groups. I think Kenshi itself might have the same three. This might be named differently. Essentially, you have equipment, which is your armor, your weapons, uh, clothing, anything that would go on sort of the paper doll here. Any of this stuff, this is equipment. Uh, NPCs do not buy this. They have their own. Now, I, I've not looked into the game's code. I've not pulled back on the curtain. Uh, I do not know all the inner workings of how it functions, but I, I am guessing, right, big grain of salt, just from my own observations, what I think is done is that... Uh, NPCs have something of a uh, of an if then and a yes no type of situation where they have a list of things that they want, uh, things like uh, medical or uh, food, right? You know, when you're hungry, you need to eat. Uh, if we look at this guy, he's he's beat to hell and he's hungry. If he had medical, he would heal himself. Well, he doesn't. So he's obviously, you know, he's, he's having a real bad day. So he might have on his list of wants, medical. He might want to buy that. He's hungry. That might also be on his list of wants. He wants food. Uh, you know, he doesn't, his list of wants aren't going to include that armor that sells for 30,000 cats. Because one, he's not on his list. And two, he does not have 30,000 cats to spend. Right, he doesn't have our money they're going to have a, a pittance comparatively. So even though we as a player can go to uh, a merchant and sell ad nauseum you know, everything in our backpacks for this insane value, the NPCs don't. So selling armor, selling weapons, unless you're, you have a, a, you know, you choose a mod to do that in vanilla, that's just not part of their functionality. That's not going to happen. Um, so then, of course, the question is, what does sell? So going back again to that sort of, uh, in, my, in my brain, the three categories. So again, equipment. Then we have consumables. And that's things like medical and food. Anything, again, that is a sort of a limited use item that gets consumed. And then we have trade goods. So you can see in my shop counter here, I've got a whole bunch of random crap. Because I know... They will buy food, and they will buy medical. I've set up uh, games before, a little trade post where they did. But uh, it got me thinking, what about trade goods? Do they want these various items? Now, these can stack, but I've just kind of got it spread out because I am uh, wanting to get a better idea of what they might actually be buying. So, let's get some cheaper medical because again they don't have a ton of cats so when you're selling you want to make sure you have a variety of items that they have the opportunity to purchase um, like I said these do stack and I might just do that just so we have a little more space but again I'm, I'm just trying to make this as, as clear in terms of if they buy something I can just look at it and go okay what is it that they actually purchased what did they buy Okay, it's only been forever, but we have this, uh, the Shinobi Thief, the Wandering Assassin. You can see his current goal is to shop, and we have things to sell. So I'm curious if he buys anything at all. 
I suspect if he does, it's going to be medical, maybe some food. So let's see if there's anything in here that he wants, or if this is just a, you know, a set dressing. Come on, buy something. Whoa, he did. Look at that. Look at that. He bought some. He bought some goodies. He bought some medical. He bought some food. It's not bad. Uh, he didn't buy any trade goods. I, I wasn't expecting him to. Um, but, uh, that's a good, good little chunk of money that we just made from that guy. So, I mean, day 21, though, that's a, a week that we've spent just standing here for one guy to show up. Uh, I would not really rely on this for quick money. It's interesting money, I think. What I'm, I'm curious about, though, is if uh, the trade caravan, if they might be more interested in the actual trade goods themselves. So I'm going to continue to let it run and slowly lose my mind as I wait. Um, but it's an answer I want to know, because I, I, I know that they buy the food and the medical. But what I want to know is, do they buy trade goods? Uh, it's worth noting, uh, if you saw those values pop up, they purchase at its actual full value. So he spent that 688 cats on the meat wrap, not the sell value of 344. Are you shopping? Are you just here to say hi? <gasps> it's another shopper. Oh boy, here we go. And let's see. Medical, food and food. Thank you, my friend. So medical and food are definitely on their list of things they want. Uh, I don't know if, if a, you know, this is, again, at the hub. I don't think that there are any particular uh, shopping days. I think it's just when they show up. So I don't know Depending where you're at, you could get them once a week, could be longer, you could get guys in every day. Uh, just that's on Kenshi's end, so who who really knows? But uh, like I said, I want to wait to see if we can uh, get ourselves a caravan to show up those uh, that, those traders that uh, you know part of the trades guild, and I want to see if they will actually buy any of those trade goods. But at least for sure, we know medical and food have those in a shop counter they will sell at some point okay we got another guy coming in the shop and I've added a few things I don't think it's gonna be in his list of things to buy but I added the skeleton repair kit and uh, some books and I'm curious if those will be on their shopping list at all I doubt it um, as you can see it's almost day 30 I've spent a lot of hours sitting here looking at the hub and I have not yet had a trade caravan come through so I will keep I will keep waiting because I want to see if any of these trade goods here are actually things on their list again we know food we know medical now that there's no bandages though I'm curious will they buy the slightly more expensive medical so that's a thing I am curious about is to also on their list of X, Y, and Z, do X, Y, and Z also have a price point that they will not buy above? So let's see what he gets. And if anything's too expensive. Can't afford that. Okay. I think he went to buy the first aid kit. Didn't. And it restacked it, I think is what happened. Um, he was a drifter, so maybe he uh, didn't have a lot of cats to begin with. Maybe he could only afford the cheaper. He didn't buy any food that I saw. So that's interesting. That's something. And uh, we'll keep waiting. This is all an information gathering. Uh, I don't want to do this any longer than I have to because it is really, really boring. But I'm also very curious about you know, how all this might work. 
and this is the the way I know how to get the information. So uh, we're gonna keep waiting, and we'll be back. And I almost missed this guy, because it was uh, dark and I didn't see him moving through the shadows. So thankfully that popped up to alert me. Uh, but you can see he has purchased uh, one of our standard first aid kits for the 161. Again, they buy for its actual full value when they buy from your shop. So it doesn't matter what the actual town price might be. They're going to buy at whatever your or whatever its actual value is. Not its, not strictly speaking its sell value, so that's pretty good. Um, so whereas the other guy couldn't, wanted to buy the medical, but couldn't afford it, this guy clearly can, so he bought one. So if you are setting up a shop, just like any store, it is wise to have a variety of products at a variety of prices. Uh, I'm curious if that's all he wants, or if there is more. So let's see if anything vanishes. And five, he's buying some food. And he's out of there. Or uh, she's out of there. My apologies, ma'am. Thank you for your money. Uh, so again, they will buy the food, they will buy the medical. Definitely spread out the high and the low values of that. But still, no, uh, no big trader. No caravan. Uh, I'm probably gonna wait till about day 45, because then I'll have been here for 30 Kenji days. And if I still don't have one, I will probably pack up and maybe try a different uh, city. Maybe the hub just sucks for that. Maybe I'm getting super bad luck. Uh, there's not really any way to, to know, to my knowledge, uh, as far as their, you know, actual the caravan route path. So. Uh, we'll see. Alrighty. Uh, as you can see, uh, I gave up on the hub. I've come to Shobatai. Uh, the difference between people with the shopping tag is like night and day. Uh, I, <laughs> I was losing my mind staring at the hub for literally hours on end to try to answer these questions that I've had. I just I just gave up. I, I've come to Shobatai. I should have done this at the very beginning. Uh, this video would have been done like days ago if I'd have just come here. Anyway, we know that uh, people with the shopping tag tend to buy the medical and the food. I have basically removed all that except for uh, the raw meat um, and then basically everything else are trade goods. So the question is, will they buy trade goods? We know again the medical they buy, the food they buy. Uh, there have been different caravans that have come through that have not stopped, uh, but I finally had one that come in and it is, uh, where did they go? Here we go, it's a the Western Hive Caravan. And I've got at least two guys here with the shopping tag. So the hope is they're gonna stop on in here and we will see if they have shopping orders because they're part of a caravan. We'll see if that differs in terms of what they might buy. Um, so let's, let's find out. Is all this worth it? I'll walk up and oh he did buy something hey look at that look at that so they will buy some trade goods that is awesome uh, not a lot of them of course but something was on their list in terms of trade goods So I have another question that I want to try to answer. And since I'm here, I might as well. I have put food in my shop in Shobatai. We know that food will sell. I did some uh, dried meat and some uh, uh, meat wraps. So anything from pretty cheap to a decent price. You can see we're at 41,994 cats. Um, it's a pretty easy number to remember if that changes. What I'm doing is I'm going all the way down here to this way station. Oh, there it is. So I'm gonna make sure I'm at least several maps away. So that way, whatever is over there, we'll see if it, uh, does it despawn? Um, do things still operate? You know, can you leave items in a shop and go out and adventure and then have things sell while you're away? Again, it's just this guy and his ox and, uh, 
going to see. We're going to wait a couple of days or I mean, you know, up to up to a week, and we'll see if that number goes up at all. And uh, then we'll know. So I'll keep you updated. All right, I've been down at the way station. As you can see, a good couple maps away from Shobatai. And probably to no one's surprise, we have not made any money. So seven plus Kenji days, uh, in my experience, from being set up in Shobatai and or in the hub, I would have at least had a couple guys stopping by the shop. So I suspect the game in the zones you're not in kind of closes them off. When you enter the zone and it loads up, it loads up all those parameters. So you uh, can't just leave stuff in your shop and then go off and explore and expect it to sell. You'd have to leave someone behind to keep that zone active. Uh, not a surprise, but it is something I wanted to try to verify all the same. So what are the takeaways? What, are, what, are, what is the conclusions that we can draw from the shop counter? Well, there are a couple. And the first one, like in anything real estate, is the three L's. Location, location, location. You obviously want to be where there are more than a few people and that will have more than the average occasional person uh, caravan walking through with the shopping list. So the hub, even though it's, you know, you've got several places around it, uh, it doesn't really see a lot of action because there isn't really anything else there other than the bar. So there's not really uh, much to bring people to it. Uh, alongside that, it's a, it's a fairly small place. So if we can get that pop up there. So residents there, we've got, you know, max 12, actual number 34. If we go to Shobatai, I suspect we will have a, you know, <laughs> a much larger number of residents. So as it's, it stands to reason, the more people that are in there, the more opportunities you have for them to have a shopping list. Ergo, more people shopping, more frequent sales. So I would suggest something uh, like Shobatai, or again, you've got uh, probably the Ochre Knights here. I've not checked. Stack. Come on, you can pop up, you can do it. Maybe you won't, it's fine. Either way, the point is, be somewhere where there's lots of people, you'll sell more. Now on that, there are what I'm going to call essentially two designations of shoppers. You have the personal shopper, and then you have the caravan shopper. The personal shopper, like we've seen, buys consumables. So they will buy medical and they will buy food. You have the caravan shopper, which as we've seen, will buy some sort of trade goods. Now I don't know what all trade goods they will buy. I don't know what their internal listing is. I don't know if they have a preset have X amount of Y, and then they just fill up on whatever is missing. Uh, that is beyond me. I do not know that information. Um, and in all honesty, I don't feel like setting, sitting here looking at a shop for God knows how many hours to try to get some sort of idea of what that could or maybe might be. That's a lot of time, uh, and to be honest with you, I, I don't want to do it. What is important is that they will buy some kind of trade goods. So you can make some trade goods and at some point they may buy them. Uh, you know, then I guess the, the third point is frequency. How, uh, you know, how much can you sell? How viable is it to sell? And I think that really comes down to how you want to play your game of Kenshi. You know, if you want to be uh, living in the city, and setting up a shop, that you you can totally do that. Um, if it's stuff you're making to sell, know that they are not going to sell with an incredible frequency. That you will sell some sometimes, but if you're trying to make money here and now, it's not going to be running into a shop and just directly selling to them. On the upside, is they will buy for its full value. So as you know, as as opposed to selling a, a food food cube, you know, their, or the meat wrap for, you know, 300 something, they will buy it for that full 600 plus. Um, it can be, I think, fun for an RP type idea where you really are focusing on the shop. Uh, maybe it gives you a reason to explore and uh, head out to the world and find ruins and, you know, sell the things you've, you've picked up from there to restock your shelves, you know, sort of almost like a fallout 
uh, type situation. That could be fun. Um, but again, don't go into it expecting to make lots of cats. You're not going to make a ton of money quickly by setting up a shop. Um, just the frequency of that happening is, is non-existent. Um, you know, you could, you could buy something like this if you just wanted to do a little, little, little way station group. You could totally set up a little shop here and hang out and be real chill, but again, you're not, uh, you're not getting rich. You're not getting rich anytime too soon. So, would I set up a shop counter? Maybe. If you enjoy the notion of just sort of, again, because you have to keep someone active there. So if you're doing a solo playthrough, it's, it's going to be you. And you're going to be looking at this. Now, if, that, if, if this view is not exciting to you, uh, you probably don't want to do that. Um, you know, another RP idea, you could have a, uh, maybe a chain store. Maybe you want to do like a the McDonald's of Kenji. And so you've got a farm, you know, over here and you're, you're creating all the food and you've got food stores set up and you've got individuals that are manning the food stores. You could, again, that's, that's an option. That's totally something you could do. Um, I think that gameplay loop itself would be fun, and that's of course what we're here in Kenshi for is the gameplay loop. Making money is super easy, getting Kenshi rich is incredibly easy. Uh, you know, get, getting there, if that's your goal to get rich, you can do that in 10, 15 minutes and then close out the game because you've already, you know, you've already completed your goal. But if your goal is to set up shops and have them be in some fashion profitable, Absolutely, you can do that. It will take time, but it can be done. Um, hopefully, you've learned something from this. I know I have. Um, I knew previously from playing before that they would buy, you know, medical and food, but uh, I did not know about the trade goods, and that was the big question I wanted to know was, would they? Are there goods out there, uh, things that, you know, I can make, like those uh, electrical components? You know, can I make those and sell those? And I can. So uh, that is at least confirmed to some degree. There are some trade good items that caravanners will purchase. Alrighty, hopefully it's been some help. Enjoy Kenji.